I got your revenge, bro. Hello guys and welcome to a new gameplay video. A little backstory on the first clip you saw. It was a game I played with some random players and one of them was this little kid. He was so hyped in that game and he was mad when he got killed by this squad. So I went to get his dog tag and I ended up getting revenge for him wiping the full squad and he was so happy. You can even hear him in the end shouting go to lobby and he was saying that to pretty much everyone I killed. We ended up winning that game but it was a normal game and the wipe you saw was the best part of it. So instead I'll show you guys another solo as a squad game where I was in a very rough situation more than once against some really decent enemies. So will I be able to win or is it gonna be another L? Let's find out. Not much to say here except the fact that I made a mistake pushing in the open. But to be fair I thought they didn't see me but the enemy was smart here. He pretended he doesn't see me and took good cover and waited for me. At this point I had no escape and no option but to fight and somehow I survived. Next I upgraded my skill and got my AK-47 then I headed towards the next fight which was a third party between two squads. After that, I noticed that there are two loaded airdrops at radar base, so I went there right away. Collapsing. Airdrop incoming. Flashbang grenade. Proceed with caution.
That was a good example on how to garner shotgun users, which is continuous movement in unpredictable patterns. So the most important thing you need to do is to keep moving. If you stand still against shotgun users, they will eat you for breakfast. Because the way shotgun users fight is mostly slide and shoot. And when they shoot, they predict the direction you're heading to and aim at that direction. So if you're standing still, then you're making their job a lot easier. And they don't need to predict anymore. They just quick scope the shit out of them. But if you keep moving, then you're increasing your chances of surviving. And to increase them even more, try to move in a predictable path. You can see here I was moving left and right and forward and backwards and even in circles while maintaining a good hip fire accuracy at all times. One thing that helped me here is the fact that the ground in this fight wasn't a flat ground. And I noticed that shotgun users struggle in such terrains because the slide and jump movement becomes a bit harder for them. Also the MX-9 was great and it applies to most SMGs because they have high mobility and good damage at close range which makes them a perfect counter to shotgun users. Anyway I got my loadout MX-9 and I headed towards the next fight. I didn't see this enemy until I landed and you can see him waiting for the right moment to push so I gave him one and what I did is fire some shots at his teammates to pretend that I don't see him and that way I managed to bear him to push me and this guy was so confident that he wanted to humiliate me with a katana kill but he got smacked before he can even swing that thing and I hope it teaches him a lesson to never underestimate his enemy thanks to that kill the rest of the fight was easy this guy pushes in the open and the smoke use was late and wrong he could have used it more efficient and the last enemy was busy firing a bot and he didn't expect me to switch to him right away. So I killed him fast because the bot must have damaged him. Moving on to the last fight, I had to play it safe because this squad had an airborne and a sniper too. That must have been the luckiest trap placement I have ever seen so far. I really don't know how this enemy managed to know the exact direction I was going for and the perfect timing to place his trap. And the sad part, it hit me twice. Again, I think I played that game well, including the last fight. I managed to split them apart and I was ready to fight and kill them one by one. But that single trap ruined it all for me. Last game it was Defender Shield and this game it was Trap Master. The saddest endings to good games. But you know, you can't win them all. As long as you do your best, there's always something new to learn. I really hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and if you did a like would be highly appreciated thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace